have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, five of pentacles. And it's with the seven of wands. Now the five of pentacles can actually point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. But the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could feel alone, but you know, just know that you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You could also feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one who's suffering. But just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it because the help that you need, it will come. Now it's with this Seven of Wands. With this card, you could find in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Something should be going well and you should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. But you may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. And I say this because when you get the Seven of Wands, your thinking is clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points towards, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So, the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Wands. The message that I'm getting for the recent past energy between you and the person that you're current, currently dealing with is that um, there's someone that wanted to win a connection with you. They wanted to maybe win your heart or just win you over. They wanted to be the last man standing. But what they got instead was being was feeling like they were left out by you. Yeah, somebody feels left out in the cold by you. And it's making them feel less than secure about the connection. So, let's move on over. Let's see if we can get a little more clarity on this and see what's coming up. Well, we got this Nine of Swords and it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Nine of Swords, there's a need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at that and see whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. So if this is the case... Try to see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. Now, this Nine of Swords is with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, you could be holding yourself back because you're afraid to move into the future. Or maybe you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all, so you have to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So coming up, Virgo, Nine of Swords, clarified by the State of Wands. Yeah, it looks like this person could be hoping 
are really wanting to hear from you. They want some communication, but it looks like they're not getting it. Yeah, it looks like you're not, you're, for a lot of you, you're not talking to this person. And it's causing them some anxiety. Maybe even some sadness. Yeah. Because the Nine of Swords can be about grief, hardship, something troubling you. So something's troubling them. And it looks like it's because the communication is not coming in. This person will really like to hear from you. Yeah, someone's got deep emotions for you. But it's showing that they're feeling left out by you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles. So the High Priestess, it actually can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is actually tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity and to inspiration. So this is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to any dreams that you have. Now, if you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really, really good idea. Yeah, this this high priestess, um, with this, it's a magical, mystical time for love if you're lucky or if you're interested. Because the high priestess um, will find people literally throwing themselves at you. And the problem is with that is you'll attract all kinds of good. The bad, the ugly, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles actually points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance, because no one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very hard work period. This doesn't have to be negative. But the thing is that you do have to be prepared for it. So, yeah, Virgo, like I said, you got someone that would love to hear from you. Um, it's causing them some, it's causing, causing them the blues. Yeah. They might even have some sleepless nights. Um, they feel left out by you. This person is very attracted to you. Very drawn to you like that. People are drawn to the high priestess. That's this is how they're feeling about you. They got, um, if they're not attracted to your outer beauty, it's your inner. They're attracted to your inner soul, your spirit. But for most of you, they're attracted to... To you just overall with the high priestess here um, and this person it's it's, it's indicating that they'll they want to work if, it, if that's what it takes they will work really hard just to make the relationship just to make the connection work with you yeah they they would put in all the time effort and energy that it took or that it takes because if you look at the eight of Pentacles it's the card below the word challenge this man, he gets, gets up in the morning before sunrise, he goes to work, and he works non-stop. And it looks like it's becoming, it's about to become nighttime, and he's still working. And on top of that, the raindrops are huge. I don't know if you can see them, but this person is going hard. Yeah, this is how, you, this is what your person would be willing to do for you and the connection. Yeah, they'll be willing to put in a lot of time, energy, and effort just to have something with you. Um, yeah, they would be, the um, Eight of Pentacles is about having passion, being motivated and, and inspired. 
and this is what you would do for you, for this person, whomever this is that is feeling so left out by you. So we move on over. Let's take a look at the outcome. We got this King of Cups, and it's with the Five of Wands. Now the King of Cups speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy, which holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person or a man in your life. Usually, he'll represent a live person who's very kind and loving. This person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups in a reading. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, yeah, it's all about love, kindness, and compassion. Those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. Yeah, what's in the cup? Love. Okay, so it's with this Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands, it often refers to competition. Usually, it could be work, career, or family, romance. But it can sometimes refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But the thing is that you're going to have to try just to see results. So the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. Hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change when you get the five of wands. Just know that you can be successful if so. Yeah, so what I'm what I'm picking up on is that you are getting a couple of storylines. You may not be going towards this person or making, you could be making them feel left out because you think they're being pursued by several people romantically. That's what the five of wands can mean. And you do have emotions for them, because the King of Cups is about, like I said, love, kindness, compassion. But you think they're being pursued by, by several people. So you're not reaching out to them like they want you to. Or, the other storyline I'm getting is that you got emotions for this person, but you think it's too much of a of a fight just to be with them. Or they could be thinking that you have, you're being pursued romantically by several people and that's why you're not reaching out to them. So the storyline could go either way. They could think that you're being pursued and that's why you're not reaching out or you could be thinking you're being pursued by other people and it's just maybe a lost cause but there's love here that's the interesting thing I think you've got emotions for them but I think they've got more emotions for you though because they're waiting to hear from you Virgo yeah this person will love some good communication from you yeah, they're they're feeling they they're having the blues with this nine of swords. So, like I said, maybe they 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 get they're th getting the impression that you're just busy with other people. But that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below about the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. 
and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people or the person that you're dealing with can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, or situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing you the very best for the new year. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care.